Big story here and across the nation today. At least 19 students and two teachers are dead, 17 others injured after a gunman opens fire at a Texas elementary school. As Madeline Rivera explains, multiple agencies are now looking into what led the alleged gunman to go on this rampage. As the investigation ramps up, we're learning more about the tragic mass shooting at Rob Elementary in Uvalde, Texas. When the managers open the door and I see cops and I hear like two gunshots. Officials say once the 18-year-old gunman entered the school, he barricaded himself inside a fourth grade classroom, shooting anyone in his way. He went into the first classroom that he was able to gain access to. Having no regard for human life, just an evil person, just shooting numerous children, teachers that were inside that classroom. It only took about three minutes for first responders to get on scene. They were immediately met with gunfire and had to find a way to get those inside to safety. They were breaking windows, trying to evacuate children out of those windows, teachers as well. Eventually, investigators say the shooter was killed by a Border Patrol agent, but not before leaving carnage in the classroom. Ten-year-old fourth grader Xavier Lopez and eight-year-old Uzaya Garcia are just some of the young victims. Fourth grade teacher Eva Morales also died in the shooting. With just days left in the school year, families now planning funerals instead of summer vacations as they mourn the loss of loved ones in the second deadliest school shooting in U.S. history. When you lose a loved one, but when you lose a young loved one, yeah. that's a whole nother level. And that was Madeline Rivera reporting. Now, meanwhile, President Biden is calling for Congress to take up stricter gun laws in the wake of this deadly shooting. Where in God's name is our backbone to have the courage to deal with it and stand up to the lobbies? Republicans have expressed outrage over the attack, though there is little support on that side of the aisle for sweeping new gun control laws. And meanwhile, Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy gave an impassioned speech in Congress calling for tighter gun control laws. He represents the area of Sandy Hook, Connecticut, which was the site of a deadly mass shooting in 2012 that left 26 people dead, most of them elementary school children. And reaction also pouring in from all over the world, including from Ukraine, where President Vladimir Zelensky is offering his condolences to the families of the victims in the Texas school shooting. Zelensky calling the shooting a, quote, horrific attack while speaking to the World Economic Forum on Wednesday and while his country, of course, is at war with Russia. Pope Francis says he's heartbroken and the pontiff asked for prayers for the victims and the families at his weekly general audience on Wednesday. The Pope also had strong words about gun control, saying it is time to say enough to the indiscriminate trafficking of weapons. Let us all make a commitment so that tragedies like this cannot happen again. The crowd in St. Peter's Square at the Vatican applauded his appeal. And students are mourning around the world. In India, there was a candlelit ceremony held at a school in a northern city. The students holding placards saying tribute to students of America as they chanted prayers, all in remembrance of those young victims.